to thank our sponsors, starting with Ace Hardware. They can be reached at 721-2500. They're located at Gray's Crossing there in Tennessee Ridge. That's on Highway 49. That's Ace Hardware. You can reach them at 721-2500. Ace Hardware, your friendly hardware place. Signature Healthcare, where quality of life is their mantra. Located in the Arctic community of here in Tennessee. They can be reached at 289-4141 for any information you may need. From a dream to reality, Traditions First Bank. They can be reached at 289-5500. It doesn't matter whether it's a uh, banking account, a checking account, buying a car, or, or a house there. Check them out. Houston, Houston County's, County's County only hometown bank. Children daily, whether it's a simple volleyball or a uh, show or, or uh, anything just to keep it open and electrical and heating and air conditioning for all yeah. watching in a second on those everyone's had a chance to look over them and that's what you want to see right there the heat and air conditioning Business is a city hall and safe room update. Since this is my first one, I guess I would ask y'all what have what y'all what is Seth given y'all in the past? Hey, just kind of give us an update of where we're at. What what percentage we are on the completion? You know what the what's plans for the next month or you know what's moving forward with Steve? Steve actually said he was going to be here tonight too. Okay. Well, I, I can I can tell you this. Money, money wise, we're we're in the fifty percent uh, completion portion of, as far as the money goes. Uh, on on the schedule, the schedule is looking pretty good as far as what Steve has completed today. We're actually, and, and I really hate to say that we're we're a week ahead, but that was that was what it looked like last week. Now, a big rain like we had today can change things pretty quick. But but still, as far as, as far as completion of his uh, work, if you look on the uh, under column F over there, you can see the percentage of, uh, of each one of those items. And he's doing good. Everything is coming along well. We haven't had any trouble other, other than a little weather uh, problem. Um, next week, I think he will continue with the roof and probably the utilities. I've got, uh, have, have y'all gotten any other quotes back on the board? I apologize for having to ask questions instead of... No, we have not, and that's something that I was going to get to the board to do tonight was approve okay. us up to a certain figure okay. to where we can uh, get... Jerry had called his his person that usually does ours. And he gave me a call. Okay, did... did uh, I don't know if Jerry got a price. He's usually here. Did yeah. you get a price from your fellow? Yes, I, yes, I did, and that price... Um, I believe I gave that to to Steve. I did. I left that. I left that for Steve. It was one hundred dollars, one hundred forty dollars per foot. One hundred dollars. Well, say that, and that's really not got nothing to do with Steve. We'll have to prove Correct. that here. Correct. But that would be the next big item as far as scheduling goes. Would be the installation of the of the water and sewer. Steve wants to get that done so he can get his dirt moved. Right. And that would be actually, I think, the next. Uh, Week to two weeks on his schedule. This is the one that is as far as what the, the progress is. This is the quote that Wade got. Okay. I don't know. I, we hadn't heard from this guy, that guy, at the end of the day. He called me. He called me this morning and asked for some specifics <laughs> on on the on the item that he was going to quote on, and I gave him everything that uh, that he needed. And I was assuming he would get back to someone before the end of the day today. He, he didn't get back to us. Okay. Uh, the water, the water would be the next thing. The sewer, the sewer, we're getting quotes on currently now uh, to get that installed, and the water is going to be done in house. Right. The water and the sewer will be done in house, and everything is everything is laid out. The surveying work has been done. Uh, it should be ready to go. We actually, we're, we've actually kind of changed the 
appearance of the sewer from what it was. We got to considering the price versus what we thought we was going to do with the extra parcel of property over there. And I don't believe we're going to put in the three manholes now, so we're basically going to cut from, I'm guessing, probably $10,000 down to probably 1500 So we're actually going to just run a sewer tap now. We actually had a main line going down the center of the lot. But we all got together, and we're not ever planning on having anything else on that parcel other than, I know I spoke to Mr. Green the day we had the groundbreaking, and he seemed to think whenever they went back in session this fall for us to get a hold of them, we may actually have a helipad. He could get us money for a helipad to go beside that that's lit with a windsock and whatnot. We'll see how that goes, but it's not ever be nothing put there where we need to put sewer on it. So we're just going to do a four-inch tap underneath the road and make a tap like we would on, on any resident because it's basically ours, and we're going to actually do the work on it. I guess what I need to do, that's that's a dollar, a hundred and forty dollars a foot is what this bowler is going to run us. So that puts you somewhere around seventy-five to eight thousand dollars just to get underneath the road. So is that something that we need to bid out, Sid? Uh, or is yeah. that something? Yeah, is, I mean, is it's, uh, unless you're going to do it yourself, but you know. Well, we'll still. In the past, we just hire a contractor to come do the bowler. You know, we don't well, think that wouldn't it wouldn't be that much, though, would it, just from the bowler? Well, yeah. some of them get pretty high. It's, 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 how, many, how many feet are we talking about? That's it's not rough, here. Rough, roughly 45 feet, 40, 45 feet, and we have, we have some room to play out there depending on what we find when we actually do the excavation. Um, and, and what you're actually getting is, a, is a, a board that if you ever do decide to come back across the road with a main line, which is very unlikely, but if, if that ever does come come to a, a, an issue, then you have something there that you can come across with. So you've already, coming on the road, you're coming on the road as if you move <coughs> into the future. Uh, it's just the best all around solution to the problem, but you're still going to cut anywhere from ten to $13,000 off, right. off of your total bill to get your sewer across the road. And the water, uh, we're going to hire the uh, GNC where we buy our material from. They've got a guy that goes around and taps. I think Jerry told me the price of his tap would be like 320. Right. So we'll just we'll buy the tap and saddle, put it on there, have everything ready to go, put the plow, and he'll come in and tap it, and that's we'll be done with that part of it on the the water hydrant. But the sewer is is the only thing that gets me. I guess whatever you say, Sid, is that something that we need to? to put in the paper and run. I've actually contacted some people, but do we have to run it in the paper? Well, you have to, uh, you know, you have to advertise for bids, you know, over a certain amount. Right. So in excess, it sounds like it's going to be in excess. It's excess of that. So I wouldn't know of any exemption for that. It's okay. just like anything else, unless you're going to do it yourself. I mean, if you're going to do it. Well, we ain't, got, we ain't got, we ain't got the capabilities of making the board. Ain't got the equipment to right. do that with. So we you don't. don't have to, you don't have to ask for bids on it. Okay. Yeah. What is that amount that we have to? Twenty-five hundred. Okay. Anything under twenty-five hundred, the mayor, the mayor can approve, and anything over the board has to approve. We were going to raise that one time, but the board uh, that we had then didn't want to go. We could raise that to ten thousand, and uh, we didn't do it. And so we still, you know, anything in excess of that twenty-five or twenty-five hundred dollars or higher has to be bid out. Which I don't think it'll hold us up if you're not looking to putting another month behind on the sewer tap, probably a month and a half. We can still get the sewer to the road. We just won't be able to get the tap underneath the road. Actually, actually you, you actually need to go ahead and make the tap first before you do anything else because that's the point you, you have to hit right. on grade. So you're you're actually better off waiting until the board is done. Right. That's what I'm saying. We're we're going. To, well, we still need to get it outside the parking lot for him. We can. Uh, we still need to get it outside where the drive around road is. We can do that. We can still get it to that point. Okay. If we can just get it to the outside for him, where he can go ahead with, we won't hold up no construction if we can do that. Okay. And that's and that's very easy. <coughs> so that can that can work. Okay. Well, you don't mind running that in the paper. I need to know what's wrong. <laughs> We're going to run this right here. That's great to me. It's a 12 inch. 
We need a motion and a second and all that stuff to approve it, too. Well, I make a motion that we advertise for bids for the sewer bore. Is that right? Yes. I'll make a motion that we advertise for bids for that. I second. Question, do we need an amount in there? You will, you will, you will approve that when the bids come. Bid. Bid you get an opportunity to accept or reject the bid. Oh, okay. I tell you, we may need to look. You you can't do a whole lot with twenty five hundred dollars. I mean. Well, uh, you know that's the thing we got into with the telemetry on our pump station down there. When they got hit that last time, that's what put it a couple months out of being repaired. What was it, six thousand? And we What's, had to wait till we had a meeting <clears throat> and pass it yeah. before we could actually I'm, fix I'm that. I'm for looking at increasing that at least a little. Because twenty five hundred dollars ain't gonna get you nothing this these days. I mean, what's the county? Do they have a? What is theirs? Ten thousand? I'm not sure. I'm not a county attorney yeah. anymore. But, but I think I'm thinking they probably raised theirs to ten thousand. Yeah, see if you see if you can find out what the county does. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Cause we, twenty five hundred dollars. It hadn't been too years ago that we raised the limit from what it was up to twenty five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a, I think it was, and then we raised it to twenty five hundred. But when it comes to stuff like this, twenty five hundred dollars is not going to allow the mayor or the city manager to do a whole lot without having to come to a meeting. And sometimes you need action quicker than that. Well, he can take they, they can take bids if it's if there's money in the budget, they can spend it, but they can't they can't spend any more than twenty five hundred dollars on a particular thing without taking bids on the yeah. fine. So the city manager has authority to go in and take bids without the, the board saying, let's do it, because you've already approved in the budget the money. As long as you have the money in the budget, he can spend it. But he has to go through the process of doing it. And he can't spend it on anything like that without having a, a public and a competitive bid. Yeah. Well, I'm all for the bids when it's when it's time for them, but there's also times when <coughs> if things can be done, you know, some things you... Yeah, and there's also times that things can get out of hand, too, so sure. you really need to be careful on something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but like I said, $2,500 <coughs> is not much of anything now. Is when it comes to construction or anything. But the bid process also makes sure that we, we get the lowest right bid. No, instead of just going out here and saying, okay, we'll take this contractor and maybe he's going to charge you five, six, seven thousand when this other contractor wouldn't charge you but three. And that's the purpose of the bid process, yeah. but, but when you've got emergencies, you know, it's still the same thing. Yeah, it's, but we also have special call meetings for you know, that purpose, too. Yeah, but you still got, the way our process is right now, you've got to run it in the paper for two weeks before you can, it, it don't matter what y'all approve, it's got to be bid out first mm -hmm. if it's over that amount. The only thing you'd save would be the publishing in the paper. Right. Because you'd still have to get competitive bids. You couldn't just go hire somebody to do it, pay them some amount. Right. So we'd have to have, like, you know, they'd have to get, uh, you know, as many bids as they could. Yeah. Probably three bids. Yeah. The only thing I can correct you on, it doesn't have to be run two weeks. It doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. Mm -hmm. We'll put it in there. I mean, you can put it in next week and get bids the next week. And then have a recess this meeting and call a special call back to approve. Would that work? Yeah. You just recess. If the board wants to approve those on the fly, if you've got it in the budget, you can, you know, if you've got it in the budget, they've already budgeted the money to spend. Right. And uh, you're authorized to spend what's in that budget. This wasn't in the budget. Okay. Have to be, the money's going to have to be. This was uh, one of the alternates on the plan. This is, this is new budget. I mean, this new is new budget. budget. Okay. Yeah, you have to come back and have a meeting. Right. right. No, 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 no. To appropriate the money, whatever it comes out to, if the board wants to do that. Okay.
I don't think a month will help we mess that up. Do you say a month hold you up on us making the serve that? Month, month and a half. Month and a half. But we can go ahead. Whenever it's time to get that, I'll explain that to y'all. We've got a process we got to go through, and we're going to have to bid it, and it'll be opened up at next month's meeting, and we'll award the bids that night. How long will it take us before if the board approves somebody to actually Here's what I'm getting at. It doesn't matter to me. It don't matter to me. Right. All this going to affect my timeline to running from the building to the outside of the park. We're going to get that as soon as it drives. Okay. Like three months from now. Well, that's about what I'm going to do. So I can test it. But as long as it's done within two or three days of me complete the building, okay. which at this point, we don't I'm not even sure what's in the contract about the time to complete the building. Seven months. Six. Motion on the and, and a second. And a second. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> for the road board. For the road board. To take the advertisement for 
permits for the road more. Okay. I don't mean the road. It's just a refining schedule. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I just didn't want to be sitting here for that. <laughs> he got things to do. Okay, I got a motion to second. Two. I second. She said. All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Three votes. <laughs> Under old business, that generator. I'll wait for the house to see. Oh, okay. Oh, we're still on see. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we need to approve the payments for Hudson and Rye to be filed on Sacred and Development. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it wasn't on the agenda, so I didn't see it. Well, it's to me, it's under City Hall. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. And the last four pages of the pack. That come in after. Fourteen thousand on one, about what? Fifteen thousand on the other. Mm -hmm. Do we have to do these separate? I know because they're both filed on the same. Uh, they're filed together, and then they have to be filed on the same this these two come in after I stack the meeting stuff. Or they can stack together. All we need is uh, one motion. a motion to uh, make Approve the two reports here. Well I'll make a motion then that we go ahead and pay the uh, the amount that is designated, which is what? Two hundred and fourteen thousand one hundred and ninety one dollars. Okay, yeah, that's 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 then rise is the other one. Okay. Like I said I got a blade and I didn't there's something in there. Huh? There's something in there. What? I got it from the engineer. Don't say it. It rise is fifteen thousand fifteen dollars and the seas is two two hundred fourteen with the city. Okay. Just go ahead and include the the fifteen thousand to to Ryan Engineering in that same motion. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got the, I've got the same thing you have here, so I've got it here. Okay. 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 You ready? Yeah, I need a second. Okay, I need a second. I'll, I'll say it. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Three yes. Anything else under the city hall, safe room, or from anyone? Question? Looking good so far to me. 
One question I have, y'all have any questions for me? Progress of the job or any questions? You run into any problems? I, I run into one problem today, but I, I correct you. It's not a problem with anything on the job. I have a personal problem with that at all. No. But as far as the site and the job, everything going on? Everything good. The only, the only problem we had was the excavation in of the beginning. Yeah. But that's, that's what kind of delayed us right off the bat. But we caught that up now, so we're in good shape for it. But no, actually, everything is up. Uh, so far as went as planned, and I'm glad it <coughs> hasn't been any uh, unforeseen problems other than doing the topsoil. Um, hasn't been any hidden calls, so hasn't been anything I needed to address without any change orders or anything like that. So, and, and the way it stands right now, it doesn't look like there will be any.
Worry about it being too dry to shoot all the fireworks, do we? No, no I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> With the rain we had today, it all goes on through the week, and we won't have to worry about that. Yeah. If everybody handles stuff the way they did this quick, mm -hmm. you know, then they weren't even really contacted, you know. Yeah. No. And they did it on their own. You know, everybody did that. Well, that's great. If everybody had done it, we wouldn't have no problem. We've got an issue on the two things wrong. A lot of us want to go grow up.
thinking that person died and his son's taking care of it, so. And I believe my uncle was saying that he's probably. The one right there, the one over there? Yeah, just the same one. No, I don't know. Like I said, the wrong person. According to my text. Yeah, Let's I believe he does. Like We're just going to have to sit here and have a conversation, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else to discuss or anything we need to, to do? Y'all got anything? Boys, y'all got anything? Any questions or anything? Y'all doing a great job on mowing and weeding and cleaning. I've heard several people comment on the job that y'all are doing. Yeah, they always do. Well, if there's nothing else, do I hear a motion for adjournment? So moved. Do you have a second? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. They've lost 19 firefighters. They called the top. Uh, they're the best that they are. And the fire turned on them and killed all 19 of them. I'd like to have just a few minutes of quietness for them. Thank you. We'll get along with the meeting. Roll call. Alderman Bailey. Here. Alderman Campbell. Alderman Dunn. Alderman Finley. Yes. Alderman Gooden. Here. Alderman Ligon. Here. Alderman Mitchell. Alderman Taylor. Yeah, here. Mayor Parchman. Here. Mr. Jim. Here. We have a quorum. Get a motion to approve the last minutes. Motion. <coughs> we have a motion. Can we get a second? Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I want to uh, say I'm proud to have Vice Mayor uh, Legan back from her surgery and, and uh, Alderman Gooden back from his surgery. Uh, and then Frank Stabley came back to work today on light duty. Yes. What constitutes light duty? Just ordering and. Uh, Do so we have a job description if someone is injured and they go on to light duty? Uh, nothing in writing, no, sir. We usually tailor the duty around the doctor's orders. Has the doctor released him? He has released him with limited duty. So he hasn't released him. He's released him back now, to work. He hasn't released him. If he's not released him to come back to work at full duty, he's not released. Well, the what the letter said, uh, uh, okay to come back to work with 
and he had a list of limitations, is, is what the letter from the doctor said. Right, attorney, he is not released if there are stipulations. I'd have to get back with you on that. I, I think he would be. You, you would be, be released on limited duty mm -hmm. or night duty work. Anything you can produce, produ produce productively without interfering with your injuries, mm -hmm. you can do that. According to who? If it's not done, but it's set an answer to the telephone. You know, whatever you want to sign them today. According to who? According to the doctor. No. The doctors don't make these decisions. He, he told me I could release me go back to down there and just set the proper foot up on to But they don't have to let you come back again. But they won't. Uh, <laughs> it, would, it would be, I think the release from limited duty would be up to well, I guess I'm his just lawyer to determine what what he would do. I guess I'm just old and it's changed. But I couldn't bring an employee back to work until the doctor released them. Not said they had limited duty, not they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that. They couldn't come back until the doctor released them. But that was because of your company's position, right? No, it wasn't a company position. It was a federal law. Well, I'm not familiar with that. I'd have to do some research on it. So. But I think if he's been released by the doctor, it's up to the city to determine what limited duty they desire to put him on. Okay. Just wondering. Any more questions? If not, let's move on to ordinance uh, 593. We had uh, uh, hearing last Thursday uh, on this, and it's the uh, water rates on second and finding reading tonight. And uh, I need to get a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. Roll call vote. Alderman Bailey? Yes. Alderman Campbell? Yes. Uh, Alderman Dunn is not here. Alderman Finley? Yes. Alderman Gooden? Yes. Alderman Ligon? Yes. Alderman Mitchell is not present. Alderman Taylor? Yes. May <coughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's six in favor. Motion carries. Our next ordinance is 594-2013-2014 budget on second and final reading. If there's no questions, can I get a motion to accept that? Make a motion we approve it on second and final reading. We have a motion and a second. Roll call. Alderman Bailey? Yes. Alderman Campbell? Yes. Alderman Finley? Yes. Alderman Gooden? Yes. Alderman Ligon? Yes. Alderman Taylor? Yes. Six in favor, motion carries. Our uh, next project is the uh, street repair on Spring Street. I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Hires and let him. Yes, thank you. Uh, Lord, is, is, does everybody have a copy of the bid summary? Uh, the, uh, yes. Yes. It would be on the left hand side of your agenda in the back. Yeah, we got them. Okay. Let me pass this out. I know you don't have this. No.
the uh, the three bids were close together. Um, we had a, we had initially uh, set this up to bid uh, because uh, I don't mind telling you the day that I looked at it. Uh, I got Ronnie Whitaker to go down in the culvert with me, and it was boiling hot that day. And uh, Ronnie's always willing to help me. We went down in it and uh, kind of got his thoughts on. He helped me with it with one of them the last time. And he said if he was going to do it, he would use the 16-inch uh, concrete block for the wall on each side and pour a full of concrete. So I set up the base bid to have the concrete block on each side, four feet high and fill a full of concrete with the dowels coming up in them and in lieu of forming uh, the, the uh, the walls, and uh, and that's why I, I did the base bid. And and after I sent the, after the ad appeared in the paper, a couple of other contractors called and said, "Would you allow uh, me to form it the normal way and use forming for the walls in lieu of the concrete block? Because I don't really like to fool with those heavy block and lay it over the dial sticking up." And I said, sure, if that's the way you'd rather do it. So I sent out an addendum to change it to, to where you could either use the block, like we initially said, or you could you form it and you can build an 8-inch in lieu of a 12-inch wide with a concrete block, form it on both sides for the walls, and and use, uh, in, instead of being 12 inch wide with the block, 8 uh, inch thick walls, which is fine if it's going to be solid concrete. You didn't have a steel mat with number 5 bars on 12 inch centers. So in these bids, uh, the low bid of concrete structures elected to use the uh, uh, form it and use 8 inch wide uh, formed walls. And uh, the second bidder did the same, and the third bidder, Pride, uh, elected just to use the block for it. At least that's what his bid indicates. And uh, everything else was pretty much equal. So with that being said, and, and, I, and I just wanted to explain that, which it didn't, didn't really matter, my, my recommendation, and it's not much difference, but I always uh, like to go with the low bidder because they're they're fairly close together and their concrete structures are just about 30 miles away over here in Charlotte and they're working here close by. They got a contract with the county working right out here on Williamson Branch Road and they do have a much cheaper price on the backfill gravel if we have to. Uh, go any further and do any more backfilling. That's quite a bit of difference in the gravel. And and since we're going to uh, pour less concrete, the price is higher on the concrete, but I'll save a pretty good bit because we won't need as much concrete because we're only pouring 80 stick walls. So it's my recommendation to the board, and I have nothing against either one of the low three bidders. They're all quality contractors. They're all close by. I'm working with Pride over here now at the industrial park on the million dollar building. So I'm working with concrete structures and I just got through with HTC on a lot of sidewalks in Dover. They're all three good contractors. But it's my recommendation that we go with the low bidder on, uh, on this little project with uh, concrete structures out of Charlotte. And I did, uh, uh, and this base bid does include enough footage to do more than what actually is falling in, because we do need to go a little bit further back on the part that's not falling in, back toward 49, and we obviously need to go as far as we can toward Front Street and catch uh, part of it that's still holding up now because the last thing you want to do is to get what's falling in repaired back and 
and let it settle down and then pave it later on this year and, and then this winter have five feet beyond where you quit, fall in again and be back in the same shape. Now I'd like to go all the way. I may have an old consideration why you can't, but I'd like to go as far as our money would take us. And, and I do have enough money in here to go probably about 10 or 15, maybe 20 feet further than, than what's actually falling in. So I'll go as far as I can. What well, well, I figure Jimmy are looking at to tie into the new, new structure? Or keep the both legs? Well, uh, I don't really know until we dig it out and I can get down there and see. I don't, because I, I didn't go too far down in it that day and I can't really, I, I don't, uh, I don't know. But, uh, I agree with you. I think I'm going to make sure I do it. Mean, we're talking another, double this or a little bit more than what we're awarding. Uh, as soon as we dig it out and I can get down in there where I can really look, Certainly, before we really get started, good, I can tell you, but I can't right now. But you can't imagine how big a mess it is. Down there. <coughs> I can't imagine too. Uh, it's, it's really neat. It needs to go further than. Uh, back when they were doing the, as far as the square out right there. Yes, ma'am. The main complaint that I heard. That it was pretty, you know. But we had a fairly high unemployment rate, and nobody was hired to work on the job. Well, this pride is only eight hundred dollars. Oh, he is local. He does have local people. Now he's going to do concrete block, right? Is that his being? Toward his bed, he's using concrete block. Well, both the other parts were concrete block, not forward concrete. Both of the other contractors were going to form it forward. No, I mean, the two places it's already been fixed, they were concrete block. One of them was anyway. I, I can't remember about the other one. I know one of them was. I think both of them were. The one the library had. Uh, I, as I say, it's eight hundred dollars, but that was the main complaint with all the unemployment that was here in the county. That uh, we had a lot of Mexican descent, and that contractor did not hire any local people. Is that right? Well, Miss Nina, excuse me, I think you turn my phone off. Uh, one of the you, you may be right, but one of the contractors could not hire anybody. Nobody wanted to work. Now, that's also a problem, too. On, well, on the big project here on the square, they could not hire anybody. Couldn't find anybody? They, they could not find anybody that wanted to work. Well, that's a little hard to believe. Well, I understand that, but that's that's. Yeah, I'm I'm stuff. talking about that was the local citizens. Well, now maybe maybe for what they wanted to do, they didn't need. I, I I don't know because that's that's what I'm I'm told because we always encourage local participation in any project we do. But I don't know whether the rest of the council heard it or not. Uh, I did. But, but that's that's what uh, on, on every uh, government funded or non-government funded, we always tell them to hire local when, when, when they can or if they need somebody. Well, pride would be local, so that well, after those contractors don't they have their own contract? I mean, personnel. Well, they 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 do to a certain extent, but if they need somebody, it's, it's much better to hire somebody local than to bring them in and have to pay for them to study. So they 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 do hire local. Lafferty Laffer, hired some local people on the parking lot. Yeah, I think he did. 
economic motion would it we accept the concrete structures like width of twenty nine thousand four hundred and twenty five? We have a motion and a second. Motion to accept concrete structures uh, bid for Spring Street repair at $29,425 base bid. Alderman Bailey? Yes. Alderman Campbell? Yes. Alderman Finley? Yes. Alderman Gooden? Yes. Alderman Lincoln? Yes. Alderman Taylor? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're going to, of course, close the street every day, and there may be time or two, and later I'm going to defer to you and the chief. Uh, I know it's, it's, it's awful for business, but it, this, this is not going to be a long duration project, but for safety of the public, and uh, it, it's, it's really first and foremost, so I'm going to defer to you all if you think it needs to be open or can be open at night or it needs to stay closed. So uh, I'll let you all be the ultimate. Well, we're only going to dig up the part not much more than what's blocked off now. Uh -huh. And this contractor that you just selected has told me that he's got these concrete they call them New Jersey barriers, which is the ones like you see on the interstate. Mm -hmm. it's, he's got plenty of those, and he's going to bring as many as he needs over here to put at various places to help barricade because he doesn't want anybody to fall off or get hurt or, or whatever. And uh, I mean, it, it needs to be as painless as possible for the traveling public. And, <laughs> People that have to go to the drugstore and, and the places of business, and, and certainly to the library, and, and, <coughs> and certainly to your business, and what's yours you can access pretty easy from Front Street, and, and maybe the library can park down toward the park and have a way to walk to the library, but we, we can't afford to have somebody get hurt while this is going on. And, and certainly after the uh, top part is the concrete's poured, it's got to cure a certain amount of time before it can be backfilled. Mm -hmm. and, and once we back, once we can backfill it and get the gravel over it, even though we're not going to pave it, we can backfill it all the way up and turn the traffic over it. Uh, and, and even though it's not going to be paved right away, we can certainly let the backfill it all the way up with gravel and then dig the gravel out and sure it can be paved. But it, it's, it's got to cure a certain amount of time before you put traffic over it because the last thing you want is a big oh. concrete truck to run over it and damage the fresh concrete. So, oh, I agree. Before this starts. He told me if it was awarded to him tonight, he's still got to do the contracts, but I'd say he would start probably before the end of next week. A lot of people complain about why is it taking so long, why is it taking so long. Well, it's, it's, I mean, we, we bid it a week ago today, and, and of course we couldn't award it till tonight unless you had a special meeting. I guess we could have maybe had a, a special meeting last Thursday night and awarded it then, but that would have really been pushing you all to review it that quick. But, uh, we're getting started on it ASAP, and I think it'll go real quick. Now, the one thing we'll need to decide pretty quick, Mayor, and that may be something that we need to come back together quickly on, is once we get into it and see if you do want to go any further. 
you know, once we see exactly how far this money is going to go with what you just awarded and see if you do want to put any more in it and go another 10 or 15 or 20 feet or whatever you do want to go. Because we certainly Mayor, do we need to recess this meeting? We need to do it while, while he's uh, in there, do we? need to recess this meeting in case he was in there, found something, and we had to make a decision about going further? I think we could just, how long it take us to call me? You could, I, I don't know if it's a recess meeting, Mr. Stevens. If it's a recess meeting, do you have to advertise when it's called back or, or say when you're going to call it back? I don't think you have to. Recess it until you such a day. Stop the recess. Mm -hmm. And I'd, I'd rather take a chance on just calling a, a special meeting and then uh, go from there. And do you have to advertise? You do have to advertise. You could just say um, you want to go as far as, you know, I, I put, I think, 150000 in for paving and Spring Street repair. You could just make a motion to go as far as X amount of dollars will take you and um, as soon as they find out we can we can let the board know or or at the mayor's discretion I, I don't know could could they do that I think they probably could well I mean I don't want to destroy your paving budget because I know mm -hmm. you've got more than you can say grace over on doing your patient now, but yeah. I tell you, as soon as he digs it out, I'll, I'll get with you and the mayor and, and tell you what I think and about what it'll cost and it'll go from there. I, I do think that's a good move to block it off for uh, we had Roby Street cut in two the other day, and we didn't block it off. And uh, in spite of everything we do, I thought this one old woman was going to run and clean up our backhoe and uh, GMC dump truck. Well, it's, it's, and then we've been sued for that. As soon as you start working there, everybody that comes through town will have to turn to see what's going on yeah. because I'm, I'm the world's worst. If I didn't know what was going on there, I'd have to turn myself to see. So that's just human nature. So yeah, I've got I've got that nose. That's kind of what it goes. Yeah, I just shut her down the old pen, so it's not too far to walk anywhere to get to well, the door. Well, and you, we, we hate to hurt any businesses and, and the people that's got to go to to those businesses, but we sure don't want to take a chance of getting anybody hurt. And, and the, of course, the contractor will be bonded and, and certainly have the proper insurance. I mean, he's been doing this a long time, but we don't want him to have to use it. Okay, thank you a lot. Thank you. <coughs> If if they want if they want to go further, yeah. I need to know what they. If y'all if y'all want to go further, she said we had a hundred and. I I put in a hundred and fifty thousand. I budgeted a hundred and fifty thousand for street repairs. That that's going to kill the paving, but uh, like everybody said, I don't want to come back next spring and have mm -hmm. to dig back up and do more. It's do we even know how much would have to be fixed? Not to us dug up. I, I think uh, uh, it, there's about 40 feet that, that's I, I think it's in. about 50 to 75 feet down to the next place where it would fix something on that order so it, it's not going to take near what you said but still we, we tried to measure it that day but it, it was 
place to do the whole section to that that part that's uh, right in front of your business, I recall. I think it's been done to the light pole right there on the corner where the sidewalk goes in the line I think it's been done to right in there, right? Pretty close. So it's basically all in front of the library has not been redone, right? That's right. And of course we know where it needs it the most. Yeah. But the question was, Mr. Taylor, how do you want to handle if they get in there, once they get in there and they see how much needs to be repaired, how do you want to handle this? You could recess, but I believe if you recess, you have to advertise. If you have a special meeting, you have to advertise. And I believe it's at, it's at least 10 days to advertise a meeting. Emergency, you can post it on in public places. Much statements, am I correct? I think technically you can do that, the various bulletin boards. In other words, if we recess this meeting and they get in there and find out the equipment's here, it would be a lot cheaper to extend it. And uh, I think we can do it on an emergency I know, I... and post it in the courthouse, the library. Post office. Am I or, or you could go ahead and just set the date for a meeting, and if it materializes, then the meeting would be used for that. If it didn't, they could consider other business. Yeah, which we would recess until. That way you could get the. July. Get the you could advertise it now, mm -hmm. make sure that you've got it advertised properly, and if the need arose to consider the more construction work, then you could consider at the meeting. If not, then there's plenty of other stuff that could be discussed. I believe it's just a, it's a 10 day. Uh, it has to, for 10 days from the time that you advertise until the time that you can meet. And, and I'm sure that would be sufficient. It should be. Uh, so if you want to pick a date, we'll decide that I don't have my calendar, but the earliest that I can get it in the paper, um, I can get it in, actually, if I advertise today, I can get it in the paper for next Tuesday. Let's see. The earliest it can print is the 9th, and then it'll have to be 10 days. So the earliest we could meet would be Friday the 19th. Or we could do it on. It has to be ten days from when it came out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The nineteenth would be ten days. Mr. Stevens, what is an emergency? Would this be an come under the heading of an emergency? I don't think that, as far as the special meeting would be, I don't think because. The, the major portion has already been dealt with, the estimates in. So, I mean, it's not really an emergency. It's, it's you know, it's, some, it's something that may arise, but it's not on an emergency basis. 
I guess if the board, I'm saying if, if they the board found decided that it was an emergency, I guess they could so declare and treat it accordingly. In other words, if they found problems, we would need, there's no point prolonging it for the company. I don't know. I'd have to do a little research on it myself. I don't know either. Why don't we just recess this meeting when we get through and then you find out? We can do that. And if we don't need it, why well, we'll close the meeting when we have next month's meeting. You can recess it till when? Yeah, no, we, we have to have it. Have you talked with the uh, contractor about the possibility of doing more of it? Yeah. Uh, how long is this supposed to take out here that we've got now? I don't think it'll take more for a couple of weeks. Um, I think we really, if we, if we want to do the rest of it, we ought to make the decision while he's doing this part out here, should he? And, and I thought there was a price per foot on that. No, it's all about a cubic yard, and uh, you know, that's, that's the way it, it's set up with a cubic yard and uh, pound of steel. And, right. That's, that's the way it, Okay. He won't get started until the end of next week, so that would be around the 12th. Yeah, he won't, he won't get started. I, I, yeah, I think if I put an ad in and and said uh, a special call meeting for for the twelfth or the fifteenth, I think we should still be. Um, I can't imagine he's gonna he's gonna no, he be. Won't, he won't be through the end. I mean, he'll still be working on it. I mean, as long as he doesn't have the. Another thing too that we won't know until we really get into it is if we've got any utilities in there that have to be moved. Uh, now in this part that's caved in, I don't think we do because if they did, they'd be leaking. And there's nothing leaking out there now. So but in the other part, I don't know. Do you want to meet on Friday the 19th or Monday the 22nd? Mm -hmm. Do you want to meet in the day or in the evening? Ready is anything not convenient for any of you? Friday evening is I not. I would rather not meet Friday evening, but I'll do whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'd I'd be Friday evening. How about we go Monday? Six o'clock still good for everyone? Monday the 22nd at six o'clock? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, I need a motion. <coughs> I make a motion, we have a meeting on that day at that time. Quiet bunch. I'll yeah. second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Was was We've uh, that word, uh, made a cook. We're not going to address that one. We're not going to address that. No, Tennessee Ridge wants to um, look at it a little bit okay. better. They thought there was just one person on No, I meant line. the part-time position. Mm -hmm.
we was wanting to get permission to hire a part-time man in the maintenance. The one we had just walked off and never did come back. This 52 hours, how, how did, is that a month? No, ma'am. Uh, the personnel policy states a uh, part-time position is 26 hours per week. That okay. would be 52 hours of pay period. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't clear on. Um, I, I'm sorry. I should have been. I, I got that from the budget, and that's how how I do the, um, the I budget. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, 26 hours per week. What is this for mowing? Just maintenance all over. By the way, who did the trimming in the round table? The shrubbery trimming. Mr. Jackson. Our, our new man, Brian Jackson. Well, he did one fine job. He's, in my and opinion... he the roses out here. In my opinion, he's a great... He's a great employee, employee in the basement. And somebody I wish pulled I had Johnson about six more out. like him. I'm sorry. Somebody pulled the Johnson race out over there. May have been Mr. Sanford. Who is this? That, that might have been Mr. Sanford. We got a, a man that's filling in uh, without having to pay him overtime from another department. Well, now, somebody's done a fine job on that hedge trimming and rubbish. That, that's Mr. Jackson. I'll pass that along. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Don't tell them they don't think we know this. We do. I make a motion that we give the mayor permission to advertise with this part-time position in maintenance. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion. Yeah. motion carries. Um, I had somebody complain about all the cigarette butts that are being thrown out by the health department all down that walkway, and if that can be we, uh, up. From time to time, I get Sammy to clean all that, and it's mm -hmm. usually a a bucket full when yeah, he does it. it was there I would, uh, I, I quit smoking in 82 at four packs a day and a box of 50 cigars a month. I quit cold turkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to make this uh, uh, facility a no smoke facility. We got no smoking in the building, but I'd like to that interfere with our smokers that we got. But I think this is our, it's more over towards the health department. It is. That ramp, they're all along there and over into that handicap. It's just on the edge. We might could get a hold of our mayor and get him to, our county mayor, and get him to uh, put something in there for them to drop their butts in. But anyway, I just, I've had a couple of people mention that and I it, it's it's a mess for I have to I'll tell Sammy to go over there I appreciate it. ever so often and clean them for it irritates me. Okay. Our next deal here on a new business, uh, Miss Pendergrass has talked to Tennessee Ridge. No, we're not doing that. And they want to they want to postpone that for a while. Uh, we need permission to hire a uh, court clerk, chief, police. Uh, I'm doing interviews. I make a recommendation to hire Cheryl Bradley Hollis for court clerk, uh, full time position. What's her background? Uh, she's the manager of Hilltop CB, handles uh, money, um, um, computer skills, uh, keeping ledgers, um, 
customer sure service that. representative, uh, Hilltop. She's in a supervisory position also, isn't she? Correct. Did she send you? She does. Most of them and, and she's she's local. She lives here. Um, Ray Bradley works at the phone company as her father. I make a motion on her. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. No roll call. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Work session night, we talked about the City of Aaron's website. Somebody please explain that to me. Mr. Pendergrass. We have discussed um, lately, well, actually for the past couple of years, um, having uh, credit card payment or and or online payments. In order to do online payments, the first step is to have a city website, something that um, we've really been in need of for for several years, but um, I, I thought I would be clever and we could build it and, and all on our own, but that didn't work out so well. Local government a couple years ago um, started offering uh, web services. They'll build this site, they'll maintain it for a fee. They, they will build it for approximately $1,200. Um, they'll do the maintenance. Um, Anything, we, we can make up to 10 changes per month. Uh, I can't remember the uh, prices on there, but it's, it's on that um, handout. Basic web package, $1,425 for 10 pages. Um, that's comparable to what I've priced. Uh, the hosting and maintenance is $108.33 per month, $1,300 per year. The uh, domain name is $100 for a five-year term. That's just to get the website up. It'll be good for the city to uh, people call all the time, which w we've been referring them to the chamber website for information. But you can put whatever kind of information you want on there. Now, Sharon Harris, she did the chamber website and the Shannon. Library. I, I can assure you Shannon's not interested in creating and maintaining a city website. She has rooms pretty full with the fair and the, the yeah. chamber. That's what I was wondering. Is there somebody local that maybe she visitor wants to ask a question? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I noticed one ago y'all talked about the uh, hiring locally. Tennessee Rich was done by locally, and so I was wondering if y'all were going to maybe look at that. Uh, well, the, the reason that I um, went for local government is because that's where our software is. When we do online billing, they will interface with the local government software. It's, uh, and I know local government. Mike, who, who locally does? Uh, it's uh, the guy that's in charge of the 9-1 billing, and I can't think of his name. Uh, Dale Hop. Uh -huh. Yeah. I checked with Dover and um, Waverly. They both have websites that were, were built and are maintained by um, local government. I, I spoke with, with people in their offices. They were both very satisfied. Uh, the turnaround when they put in a request for a change is very quick. Um, the prices were as they were quoted. Um, Waverly does not do online bill pay or credit cards yet, but Dover does um, not online pay, but they do credit cards. I don't know if they do it at the office, but I do know they do it over the phone. Um, they just they haven't gone to the online bill pay yet. Question, but what does online bill pay have to do with website? If you well, you have to have a website to to have a link to pay your bills online. Okay. And the online, um, the online bill pay is is another um, issue in itself. But I put some quotes 
to get that started, I think, on the back sheet, uh, that side of your quotes. In other words, we're talking about $1,525 a year. N no, I don't. Let's see. Total proposed cost. Okay, that's not per year. That is just to get it going, a one-time fee. The the price per year is thirteen hundred, and that's for hosting and maintenance. They do all of the updates. They their turnaround so is within two days. Twenty eight hundred dollars. No, it's fifteen twenty five. Fifteen twenty five to get started. And then thirteen hundred per year. That's after that. after after oh, that initial year. startup. Okay, so that makes it thirteen twenty eight. No, the next, next year startup is fifteen twenty five. To, to have it built, to have the domain and, and everything done is the, is the initial cost. A year, one year after we have paid that $1,500, we'll start our maintenance, which will be $1,300. Basic web package, 1425 Oh, and then that's a 100-year registration. Yes, and that's for five years. Who has your in Tennessee.com? The chamber, uh, Mr. Me, you. I wondered if it was you. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as we have dot .org or dot .net or, I think I own all of them. AaronTN.org is available. You don't know that, then. <laughs> If they want to go shorter than this time. Um, the, uh, what about, is this a reasonable the, uh, fee? In the package you sent out. Is this a reasonable mm -hmm. fee? Uh, from uh, your, uh, it has, it's by y'all's decision. I wouldn't do it, but I mean, you know. Since, since our system is through local government and everything is hooked together, then uh, I feel we need to stay with local government. This way, we doesn't we don't have to advertise and put anything out for bids. Well, and mostly, we have a good working relationship with them. We know we're going to get what they have offered to provide. And and I'm and this is totally up to you all. If if you would rather not have a website, I I don't have any heartache with this. Um, at all. But this would include the credit card. No, the credit card payment, the credit card payments would have to be linked, the company that, that does the payments would have to be linked with local government, and, but that's a whole, that, uh, local government their their software would oh, have to interface oh, with local governments, but that's a separate company yeah, and a separate charge. I mean, to to do your credit card payments, the online payments, there's all a a large fee included Let in it. Come put it in the box. Mm -hmm. Well, and and I'm okay with that. I said I would do it. I looked into it. This is what I recommend. If you want a website, this this is my recommendation. If if you don't want a website at this time. I don't have any any hard feelings at all. Yes. Okay. But and and again, we you don't have to have one. Part. Have to have one because if we don't, eventually we're going to have to have it anyway. So if we don't do it now, eventually. If you're in the 21st century, you need one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Motion to approve. Second. I'll okay. 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 Proposal by local government data processing to uh, build a website for the city. Alderman Bailey? Yes. Alderman Campbell? Yes. Alderman Finley? Yes. Alderman Gooden? Yes. Alderman Ligon? Yes. Alderman Taylor? Yes. Motion carries.
Miss Pendergrass gave y'all a letter, uh, some more. Here. From the attorney that represented uh, Cumberland City in the last court thing we had. And uh, Mary Vaughn had been uh, writing letters to our attorney, Mr. Stevens, uh, talking about wanting to take over Cumberland City steam plant uh, to sell them water. Uh, when, when Cumberland City steam plant was got water in it, uh, we was selling water out of the spring up here. They came, TVA came before the board, I believe it was Mr. Beverly Price, mayor and that board, and uh, they wanted to run a two-inch line out there, and, and the board at that time told them they couldn't run a two-inch line, but run an eight-inch line, and TVA bought it and run it all the way from here out to their uh, industries, and then within a very short while afterwards, we started building our uh, water plant out there in Montgomery County at Yellow Creek. Uh, I've uh, often wondered where's Mary Vaughn going to get the water to uh, supply TVA for uh, all those lines belongs to the city of here. And I personally don't feel that he needs that. He can't supply the water. And uh, I guess I'm asking if you wanted to uh, talk about hiring uh, the attorneys that we had the last time when he filed a lawsuit on us. Uh, Farmer and Luna out of Nashville. What's he want to do now? He wants to. He's wanting to take TVA of us since it's in. And all the industrial parking for someone city's customers. Not not just TVA. There's he several wants, industries on the Cumberland. So he wants us to, to give him that most yeah. gas and most of the revenue instead of us. He'll buy water from us and he'll sell it to them. Right. That's yeah. a lot of life. Yes. But he's going to be buying water out of our lines. Yeah, I mean, right. But he, I will, he will raise the price over what we're yeah. charging him. Mm -hmm. My yeah. mama didn't raise any dummy on him. She has no I don't. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't mind going to court and arguing with him, but I have no intentions of just rolling up and playing dead for him. No, he wants to get on the bandwagon after he's already started up. He does have a line to get water uh, from Dover, but they sell it to him. And you pay him that what seventy-five cents more than he wants. It's a bit more. A whole lot more. It was. It was. It was close to four dollars a gallon. A thousand. That's just why he gave him an attorney. He's an attorney making pay for lost damages or whatever cost of making pay. For. Now, if we win the lawsuit, does he then have to pay out the attorney we hired? That's what I want. You, you can ask go. for it, but I don't know if the court will award it. I think if you if you can <coughs> show it as a federal lawsuit, uh, you probably could. Ask for it, didn't he? Ask for everything. Always ask. Yep. I say no, but we'll ask. The, uh, what they're asking is everybody sits down. I, I think, Mayor, what you need to do, I'll bring it right through it. I think you need to have an honorable, as far as Steve and Mr. Stevens, do, do what he said within 15 days, and let's meet with them, but don't really get into great <coughs>
that's his opinion, but uh, I mean, it's got to be resolved, but I think you need to start initially with the attorney you have sitting right there beside of you, because the, the attorneys you had before have changed down there, and you need to go a different route now than what you did if you have to hire outside counsel. I have all the confidence in the world in the attorney that we have sitting here on the bench with us. But we need to do something, respond or meet with them in the next 15 days? Let's well, just we contact need, me within 15 days. Yeah, we need to decide what day that uh, we can be available. And I'd have to convey it to Mr. Oliver and try to get together on a date that we can meet. And then, of course, if we can't be resolved, then uh, I guess the court would have to decide. The mayor, that sounds like it's just part of your, your duties at this point. We can, we can meet with him whenever Mr. Stevens can. Well, I'm the, only, the only thing I request is that I have uh, Philip Baggett with me and Jimmy Harris. Well, both of them has been here from day one. Well, I, I was present when TVA came over to request water from the city and uh, I'd be telling my age, but they, they wanted to lay a two-inch line in the city. And they, they finally paid for the eight-inch line and the city to get that water out of wells and, and after we got the water over there and built the plant and we helped them get uh, a water system and they bought water from the city of here at, at a, at a at, I must say, a very reasonable rate, which was just barely more than it cost mm -hmm. the city to produce it. And as long as Ryan was mayor, there's an argument about that. <laughs> I'll do that then. I'll advertise for um, Spring Street repairs and legal counsel. No, we may not have to do that. Hopefully not. Yeah, maybe not. Oh. We, uh, down to police and fire report. Police reports first. I'll ask Chief he wants to. Uh, I'm sorry I said top over. For June 2013 we answered uh, 186 calls, issued 92 citations, and made eight arrests. There's a breakdown on those. Um, one aggravated domestic three driving all suspended, two DUIs, one evading arrest, one destruction of government property, what six accidents. Uh, the destruction of government property? Uh, anytime any of our property gets... gets yeah, but I was uh, curious what it was. A uh, uh, patrol car. Um, six accidents, no, none with injuries, um, no government recommendation. Also, congratulate Kevin Sugg, uh, being promoted to assistant chief of the police department. And I 
thank Lori and Karen and Angie for helping out the past month. Uh, with my clerk and court clerk that he's Chief. Tell us about the uh, Sheriff's Department donation, too. I'll do that. Uh, this month with the Boys Month, the Pets of the Thank you. We're going to have three calls. Uh, usually, the county on the first fire, the first fire alone, and the uh, ambulance assist call. Um, before we found the deal with our education tools that we just recently got, uh, the Sheriff's Office was in the process working on a deal to create equipment with another municipality and obtain us uh, rescue tools to share this. The county government has been nice enough to go ahead and brought a, a use agreement over for those tools, which will complement the tools we have currently uh, very well. And it was back up a uh, hydraulic pump, uh, another hydraulic ram, one set of spreaders, and another set of cutters. Um, along with that, this year we've got a lot planned for training for the firefighters. Next month and a half, we're going to send all the firefighters to uh, school to be safe certified firefighters. That's going to cost approximately $2,500 and then send them on to their fire hall on the live burning course at Fire Academy. So by uh, December, our whole fire department will be safe certified firefighters. Really Is that now I got a robo call that's on? about needing volunteers, that there was going to be a tornado training something at the high school? Yes, actually well, key yeah, that has to do with the uh, uh, disaster drill that possible the county is required to do and required to do two years for the state plan. Okay. Well, I just... Yeah, we, 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 we've done well this year. We've got a team involved in planning this and it's going to be extensive. Then. Okay. Uh, Chief Warren was open. Attending the meetings of the hospital as advisors to the hospital. Yeah, just got one of those promises that could be. But if you guys do know anybody who wants to volunteer, that'd be great somehow. Well, not with my knees at this point. That was the extrication gear. Okay. I'm going to let uh, Miss Pendergrass explain a bill that we got to you due to the our last names that's involved in it. During the flood, uh, we had a major damage to a water line, um, I believe on Moore Branch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it, when there's a creek crossing involved, we don't have the equipment to, to repair the line, so typically Parchman Construction is who we call because they're right here and, and uh, they're real good about uh, getting activated and, and getting our, our water service um, repaired. So we had to call him to come out and do some work on some water lines. We just got the bill, If we might have gotten it Friday or Monday, I'm not sure, but it was $8,000 and obviously I did not anticipate an $8,000 bill for the water system. So. I just wanted to make you aware of it in case we have other big ticket repairs. Um, we might have to come back later in the year and amend the budget um, to reflect that. But I did not want you all to be surprised when I came back and said... You charged $8,000? It, it was a pretty large job. Yes, ma'am. Well, was that a fair price so far? The charge? Well, Philip felt like it was. Right. I don't... Um, did he, Philip, think it was all right? Or yes, ma'am. 
he he's he's always been fair with yeah. us, okay. um, which is is why we usually call him. Well, that and the fact that it's usually an emergency also. So. Well, that well now he gets Griffin's Chapel. He gets that holy in the county. Mm -hmm. Well, he, um, like I said, he, he got us back up and, and running in a, a timely manner. But, and, and again, the, it, it might not come up that we do have to amend the budget, but if, if it does, I just wanted you to have uh, knowledge of that in, in advance. That's all I have. Any questions? If I can get a motion to adjourn. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion approved. <coughs> well, it's everybody it's have right a, in a safe Fourth of July weekend. Oh yeah. We'd like to take a moment to uh, You're very welcome. Y'all want some sponsors, cookies Ace for the Hardware road? at uh, Prince of Rich, Senator of Health Care, the Houston County Government, uh, and Tradition as far as possible. Part of this event, Tunnel 12, here at Erin City. I'm not saying somebody else. <laughs>